So I want to show you guys a VR chat tool that is similar to the VR chat website, but it does allow you to do more things and the website allows you to. Now this is an unofficial software. It's not anything official from VR chat. So it does use your unofficial API. Um, so technically you can get banned for using it, but I don't think there's anything that is detectable. So, um, me, I've been using it for probably two to three years now, and I have friends that all use it too. And, uh, you know, we're all fine not getting banned from it. So <clears throat> I'm going to have this link in the description. You're going to want to uh, go to the link. Now, the current version of this video um, is going to be this one here. So by the time you guys download it, it might be... A different version which is newer so that doesn't matter anyways you're gonna want to go to the assets go to whichever version it is you're gonna want to do the setup.exe one gonna let that download and I already have it downloaded so I could just run it it's gonna say like it's gonna have like a different pop-up just click more info yes and then the second one will pop up that says yes now I have it installed and running already <clears throat> so the installer's not going to show for me. So just ignore my pop-up and just continue on with yours and, you know, install it. Now, if it doesn't open up already, open up the shortcut on your desktop for VRCX. It's going to be this icon with an X. It'll be on your desktop. <clears throat> so with that opened up, you can see I have this first tab, which is feed. And you could also filter between which GPS is where your friends are going. So worlds and all. And then everything else, self-explanatory. So this just basically shows you what avatars your friends change into, which worlds they go to. Obviously, <clears throat> if they're orange, red, or if they go to a private on green, it's going to say private. You can't, You. it's impossible to see. There's no mod or anything that will tell you where your friends are if they're in a private or if they're on orange or red. But if they're on green, then it will be logged in here. <clears throat> now, if they change your status, that should get logged in there as well. Same with online, offline. And then for the second tab is going to be the game log or game log. And uh, basically what this does is it just shows your current world, which I have running right now, my VR chat. Um, it just shows when people leave and join. So that gets logged and you could just go through, you know, different pages. And maybe you were in a world and somebody you wanted to add and you got crashed. So all you'd have to do is just go back in your log and find them, click on them. <clears throat> but, um, also you could, you know, filter that too. You could also find portals that spawn. So if there was a portal you didn't make it into, you could just click portal spawn. And, uh, these are just random portals from, it looks like earlier today and a couple days ago. So all you'd have to do if you wanted to jump in a portal, just click on, well, this one's 80153. So you just click that. Now you just click invite yourself and it'll send you an invite that's coming from yourself, but it's still joinable. Um, going to get rid of that filtering. Now we got player list. Now, <clears throat> if you have your game running right now, it's going to show your player list in your current world. So you could like basically just see everybody that's in the world. See their photon ID, their avatar image and all, um, their language, bio links and all that. Um, obviously their status too. Um, so, and it shows if they're in VR desktop. Now, <clears throat> if you click on one of them, it'll bring up their profile. And if you wanted to add somebody, you just click send friends request. If you wanted to block or mute, you could do that. There's other options in here as well. Um, has their bio. It shows when they last log in, join count. Uh, time together offline for friended. Now, a lot of these will only work if you have the program running at all times and <clears throat> the last login and friended, obviously, and offline for those will only work if you have that person friended and you have the program running at all times. <clears throat> now, if you leave it running at all times, it will probably show you online. So just keep that in mind um, if you have this program open. Time together, this will work if your friends are not. It'll show how many times you guys joined on like the same world where you guys like basically crossed past. And then also time together, it'll just 
show like total time in like the same worlds. Uh, <clears throat> so if you scroll down, this is if you have the VRCX companion DLL, which should be on the VR chat melon assist tool. I'll try to find the download link to that mod for melon loader and I'll put it in the description as well. But that just gives you more functionality to this program. It kind of gives you more uh, logging. So it shows you when people change status and they're not your friend. It shows, you know, disable gravity, keen medic. And then there's also, it should show camera and all that too. And people take photos. Um, <clears throat> and then the next tab is, you know, if you wanted to find somebody, I'll just put Jordan, for example, you could just find whoever you're trying to add. You have world. I'll just type city, for example, or I don't know, FBT. <clears throat> and then there's FBT heaven. Now, with what's cool about this is if you search FBT Heaven, or if you were to click on somebody and pull up the worlds like that, the capacity of the world for a great pug is 40. Now, if there's a instance that is obviously public, but it, do, it won't show any worlds that are over capacity in VR chat in your worlds tab. The only way you can see them is if you were to join off somebody that's in that instance or if you use VRCX. Now you can see this instance right here is 45. Now, um, basically all you have to do to get into that one is just click invite yourself. And if you go back to your game, you'll have an invite and I'll say it's coming from you. Now this is just a random throwaway account I made. Um, and then these are just random people I added. But <clears throat> basically, um, you would just join that invite and it would take you to that instance that's over capacity. So that'll work for like FPT heaven. Now, like later on in the day, it's 5.09 PM for me right now, usually like 7 to 11 ish. Um, there's a ton of more instances that are like containing 60 to 70 people. And for me to get in them, all I use is this program because you can't get in those otherwise unless if you have people added that are in them already. So that's just something cool to keep in mind. You have an avatar search too, which I'm not really sure how this works. I haven't looked into it yet. I could probably look into it another time. Uh, favorites are just people you have added in your favorites list. I can move somebody to a different favorites category. Now this will reflect in game too. So like if you have a favorites tab, uh, you could also quickly, you know, unfavorite somebody too. Uh, also your world's favorites will be in here if you want to remove them or whatever. Um, same with your avatar favorites and all. Um, and then this, this is a friend log. What this will show is everything regarding your like friends list. So friend means obviously somebody that I have like added now. <clears throat> now it'll also show people that unfriend. It'll show people I've sent friends requests to or canceled a friends request to. It'll show if they change their username. So if this person named Seven changes their name to like Alex543, then like it would show Seven with a little arrow to Alex, whatever. Um, same with trust level. Like if I have a friend that ranks up, it'll show them ranking up. Now, if it shows like a friend that ranks down, obviously they've been like blocked a lot. Or if it goes from like, a very low from a high rank to like a low rank like trusted to user or whatever that generally means that that person got banned now if you go to moderation <clears throat> basically if i were to uh block somebody or mute somebody um it would show it here it would say like block and it showed their name um so like if you were to wanting to unblock them or unmute them you could just easily see that there now, if you go to notification, this is just basically, um, if anybody invites you or request or whatever, um, it'll show it in here. Now, what's cool about this is that if somebody invited you to a world, let's say like 40 minutes ago, obviously your invites expire and I think like 10 to 20 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. Now, if a invite in expires, um, see, I sent this invite to myself at 1708. Um, which is like what 508 my time. Um, so uh let's say this invite expired. This will work for any invite you get. So if you just highlight over it, it'll say 21052. 
all you'd have to do to get that invite back that no longer shows in game is you would click on it. You would find the instance matching the one that's highlighted 21052. You click invite yourself and then bam, you got the invite again. You could go back to that world. Um, so this will show in game. You'll have an invite just pending waiting there. Now for the next tab, this is going to be your friends list. Now this is just how many friends you have. Obviously it shows rank. Time together, last scene, and whatever else. You could also delete people pretty quickly doing that. Um, you also have this profile tab, which shows your name. Again, this is a throwaway account. Um, so, um, but also you have export friends list. Uh, you could just copy everybody if you want. Put it in like a text document. So if you get banned, all you have to do is just look at you know, everybody have there and just manually add them. You also have export own avatars, which if you, if I have any of my own avatars that I've uploaded, it would show there the avatar ID and avatar name. Also discord names just basically means that it'll search through everybody's bio in your friends list and it will output just the discords only. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I never used it, but I know some people it'd probably be useful for. Um, if you click this, it'll fetch the total online players, which looks to be 66,000. Jeez, that's a lot. Um, it also has other things that you can find on the VR chat website, like all of the SDK links. These are the direct download links. So I know if you go on the website, you know, to find the latest SDK, you kind of have to like hunt around and I don't know, sometimes it can be annoying, but this will give you the exact link. So you just click on it, click confirm. It'll open in your browser. Now, these are your messages for requests and invites. Now, you could, these are all preset ones. Now, if you edit any in game already, it would reflect there. Now, if you haven't already and you want to, you know, change them, you could just, I don't know, just I'm spamming the keyboard, but you could just put like any custom reply and it'll reflect in game. So, if you were to invite but invite anybody with a message you know this custom one you put in here it'll show that in game too um this also if i were to change my username let's say if i change my username like five times it'll show all five usernames and uh i don't know that's pretty cool um all of these will probably show more info so i'm not gonna do that uh it's probably personal info i don't know but so we have settings, we have latest version here. Um, you have check, you have a manual update checker. You could have auto update on for notify, auto download, auto install. You have appearance, you could change from light to dark. Sorry if I blinded you guys with the light mode, but everything else is kind of like more of a personal preference. You have notifications. Now Steam VR overlay, basically if you have this turned on, VRCX has its own banner that it shoots into Steam VR. And basically what you can do is you can have a join notifier without actually running a client, which it's pretty cool. Um, this join notifier is actually probably the best one if you use joining. Basically, if you, okay, if you have this turned on, now if you have excess overlay, keep this one off and only use the excess overlay one because you'll have way better looking notifications appearance wise. But you're gonna wanna head over to the notification filter. Now, if you use on player joining, if some, okay, let's say if a friend joined on you before they actually make it into the world, like as they're downloading the world or loading into it, it'll notify you when they're doing that. So you could kind of see before people join, which is kind of cool. I kind of like that. Or you could just rely on the original one, which shows on arrival. So this is like before, like pending arrival and then this is like on arrival you have all these other notifications you could set too you could see when people delete you um change their status um <clears throat> yeah just all sorts of different stuff you have photon logging here too which you know if somebody blocks you it would notify you as a notification which that's all handy stuff in my opinion um you could also have their user image on the notification if you use excess overlay, which looks to be, it could slow down the notification. I have it off, but um, also if you want to join notifier in desktop mode, all you have to do is just click desktop mode and uh, yeah, which I hardly play desktop. So I'm going to leave that off. You have text to speech, which 
this I never used it, but I think basically it would just like speak to you and tell you when somebody's joining or whatever. It would just tell you any of these things, but as a voice. Uh wrist overlay is basically um uh, basically kind of like the notification thing, but it's just like a little like I guess like a little window that spawns behind your hand. Now if you like were to grip your controller or click the menu button, then it would pop up and it just basically shows uh where your friends are going and just stuff like that. Just kind of more of the notification things, but as like on a window, like on a log. Um, and then it should also show your battery life of your trackers and all, and then your CPU usage and all that. You could hide some of that stuff. Wrist feed. Yeah, it looks like you can actually configure everything for your little wrist feed overlay, which is kind of cool. Um, so you also have Discord presence, which, you know, you have this turned on and you're playing VR chat and you have game activity turned on on Discord. This will just show you plain <clears throat> VR chat. And if you have, if you turn that on, turn this on, it'll show which world you're in and it would show the total amount of players and the instance type. You could also make join button. So somebody from Discord could see you online and they could just join on you directly, which is kind of cool. Um, you have advanced, you can encrypt it with a password for the program. Um, this is a avatar remote database. I think this is more like as if you had your own server, you'd put in the proper URL or maybe for some client. I don't know. Um, YouTube API, you have progress pi. Hmm, I never really mess with these. Um, I have these turned on. These are just more like photon logging stuff. Um, also user timeout. I do like because this will just show you if somebody technically there can be false user timeouts. I believe desktop users could technically shoot that false notification. But um, this would just mean that if somebody were to get disconnected, so like if they were crashed, or maybe if they were like serialized where they're disabling their movement, but they're actually there. In other words, I guess you could say they're kind of spying. Um, then it would show there. Um, there is a threshold you could actually probably... S it looks like you could set, so that's probably just you'd have to play with it if you're trying to get rid of any false flags for that. Um, that's pretty much it other than, uh, let's see. Um, it would show my bio. You could also um, change your status directly, like all through here. You could do your bio. So like you could just properly like, I don't know, just just type whatever like, and then if you hold shift and enter, you could just space down and properly format it. Add link. You would just put in like your Instagram or whatever you want to put there. Um, that's pretty much it. This would just be like worlds I have uploaded. This would be worlds I've favorited. And then avatars I have uploaded, which nothing's going to show because this is a new account. I've only made it for this video. Um, as you can see here, they joined. But, uh. That pretty much wraps it up for this video. Um, I'll probably shoot out another video early next week, but um, this was just something I wanted to go over because I know a lot of people have asked about this in the past. So um, it's definitely, you know, worth to use in my opinion. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.